Okay, hello uh, everybody. I um, wanted to just show you the differences between the Orion Starseeker 3 computerized mount and a Starseeker 4. Obviously the 4 is upgraded, but there's some really big differences. You know, I decided to upgrade uh, for the main reason was I upgraded was because I only wanted to have to take one mount when I went on trips and I wanted to be able to do bird watching or wildlife uh, viewing, things like that. And you can't do it with the Star Seeker 3 because it'll only go up and down, okay? This, you can't move it side to side or you will break it. And so you can't really use it. So I didn't want to have to bring an extra uh, tripod just for that. So this will turn, okay, as you can see side to side and you can use it as a regular tripod. And that was the main reason I got it, because I didn't want to have to take more than one tripod when I'm going on a camping trip, you know, just for space reasons. And, you know, that's just the one advantage. So I decided to order it, and I was going to sell the Star Seeker 3, which I'm still going to do, which is why I'm doing this video first. So what are the other differences? You know, is it really worth uh, upgrading it? For me, definitely. Uh, here's some some other reasons. First of all, um, accuracy-wise, I found the Star Seeker 4 to be more accurate. The Star Seeker 3 I was satisfied with, okay? It, it was reasonably accurate, but the Star Seeker 4 I found was much more accurate. Um, I was able to uh, use a 15 millimeter uh, eyepiece with 127 millimeter MAC cast, which had it over at 100 100x and I was able to just use that to do the searching you know at over 100x and it was right on I could never do that with a Star Seeker 3 it was never there's no way it was accurate enough to do that so I found that pretty pretty amazing so that's definitely the accuracy another uh, a handy thing is instead of having to deal with uh, having your batteries on this and the wires do get can get wrapped around if you're not watching on the Star Seeker 3 you know it's not a big hassle okay but on this model okay the battery compartment okay is right here on the side and so you don't have to worry about wires getting it's right here you don't have to worry about wires getting turned around or hung up on anything and so that was that's another difference you know that's an improvement okay um, another improvement is the uh, tray you know this will hold eyepieces and stuff but I just never because you have this knob in the middle it can when you're in the dark you know you can accidentally knock things over put an eyepiece on that and it falls over and it's just not really great I do like having okay the holes that are pre-cut for your eyepieces I've just found it much easier to work with Another thing, the mount itself, okay, this is very kind of lightweight aluminum, okay, which is easy to carry around, but it's not as sturdy, especially when you extend the legs a lot. If you're going to use a refractor or a mat cast or something, you have to extend the legs up. You do get more shake, okay. This, these are like steel legs. It's heavier mount, and if you extend the legs up, uh, it's very little vibration at all, okay. So I found that to be... A definite advantage, you know, it's nice to have things that are lightweight. You know, if you're taking on a plane, that would probably be better, the Star Seeker 3. But overall, overall use, the Star Seeker 4 mount is much more sturdy. Um, so I found that to be uh, definitely an advantage. So that's about it, I think. Um, again, for me, it's definitely was worth it to upgrade. Um, I found it actually cheaper to order the Star Seeker 4. It was $30 cheaper to order it with the 80 millimeter refractor scope. So I did that. So now I have an 80 millimeter refractor and I'm gonna just sell it uh, in combination with the Star Seeker 3 and just sell it on Craigslist. So that's how I'm gonna get most of my money back. You know, not all of it, but I'll get a good chunk of it back. So it won't end up costing me too much. So anyway, I mean, they're both good mounts, okay? I mean, Star Seeker 3, if you're happy with it, and it's working for you you know you don't certainly don't need to upgrade it but uh, if you want to upgrade there's some definite advantages in going to the Star Seeker 4 mount okay so that's just my two cents if you have any questions feel free to uh, leave a comment thank you 
and um, I will also uh, leave a link, uh, Amazon link, if you want to check the prices for Star Seeker 4s. So just check out the uh, Amazon link in the description box below.